Sir, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Yeah. Um, today's learning session is pulse, that is arterial pulse. Uh, usually, pulse, there is also venous pulse, separate lecture. So, uh, I mean pulse is arterial pulse. Um, pulse uh, in the clinical classes from the third year, we introduced pulse and at the last moment and the uh, MD student, post student also pulse should be learned. The pulse is an important factor both in bedside and theoretically. Bedside is the pulse examination on national purika ashe. There are the peripheral pulse examination. It is a good thing. It is a good thing. Severe AR patient Sarra Picodium Ascultation of the left peripheral pulse ascultation of the parent bedside. It's a lot of my case scar city coronary pulse examination. And I'm excited to interrupt Kuri. We bought a shuai at the AS at SK seminar essay. We see inhibited roof for it. I'm not sure about a shuai to thank him. Eastern Protestant. ইস্টুডেন্টদেরও সবচেয়ে ইম্পর্টেন্ট যেটা হচ্ছে বেডসাইড এক্সামিনেশন অফ দা আর্টারিয়াল পালস এটা বেডসাইডেরই ক্লাস তারপরও আমরা এখানে ডিসকাস করব এবং পরবর্তীতে আমরা আমাদের আমরা বেডসাইডে এটা প্র্যাকটিস করব অবশ্যই পালস অ্যাবনরম্যালিটির মধ্যে डिफरेंट অ্যাবনরম্যালিটি আছে সেগুলো সম্পর্কে আমরা জানতে হবে তো প্রথমে আসেন যে ডেফিনিশন কি হয় পালস मींस মুভিং টু এন্ড ফ্রো ইট ইজ এ গ্রিপ ওয়ার্ড মানে আর্টারিয়াল পালস ইজ এ ওয়েভ प्रोड्यूस्ड বাই কার্ডিয়াক সিস্টেম when it traverses traverse peripherally in the arterial tree at a rate faster than the blood column. Blood column is faster than the wave to the wave. Wave to the wave pulse. When the pulse is a wave, the speed is 5 meter per second. The blood flow at the speed of 0.5 meter per second. Obviously, it is speed up in the blood flow. Genesis of the pulse. Arterial pulse begins with the aortic bulb opening with left ventricular ejection when the left ventricular pressure exceeds the aortic pressure and becomes the driving force for the movement of blood into the ascending aorta. But the left ventricular contraction of the pulse wave to be observed. Pulse wave is a pattern, pulse wave is a long history that is before. Uh, 344 BC থেকে শুরু করেন অনেক ইস্টেসে তো এমনি ইম্পর্টেন্ট মাইলস্টোন হচ্ছে 1887 যখন সার উইলিয়াম ব্রডব্যান্ড উনি এখানে মূলত সিস্টোলে দুটা প্রমিনেন্ট ওয়েভ আছে যেটা এর নাম হচ্ছে ওয়ান ইজ পারকাশন ওয়েভ অ্যানাদার ইজ টাইডাল ওয়েভ এট ইজ দা আপস্টোক ডিপ্রেশন এন্ড ইট ইজ ইনডিসটিং ইন্টারাপ্টেড বাই অ্যানাক্রোটিক মচ এন্ড ইন দা ডিসেন্ডিং লিম ডিসেন্ডিং হুইচ ইজ লেস স্টিপার দ্যান দা অ্যাসেন্ডিং লিম a descending limb is interrupted by a dichotic notch and followed by the dichotic notch there is a dichotic wave. Percussion wave is produced by the rapid ejection of the LV volume and tidal wave is formed by the reflection from the upper part of the body. And in the uh, dichotic wave which is the reflection from the lower part of the body. And the, the dichotic notch is produced by the closure of the aortic valve. Closer of the aortic bulb indicates the dichotic notch. This is the pattern in central 
aorta, ascending aorta or the central artery. Uh, usually the central uh, arterial pulse represented by innominate arteries, uh, carotid arteries, innominate arteries, along central uh, ascending aorta. So clinically, we examine the carotid artery, and carotid artery is the most accurate representation of the central arterial pulse. Next, come to the uh, peripheral arterial pulse pattern. Peripheral arterial pulse pattern is brachial artery, radial artery, and femoral artery are represent peripheral arterial pulse. However, brachial artery is the most suitable for examination of the rate of rise of pulse, contour, volume, and consistency of the peripheral vessels. Uh, here, the upstroke is steeper and percussion wave is less prominent. Percussion wave is higher, but the tidal wave is less significant. Tidal wave, tidal wave is less significant. This is the uh, percussion wave, and this is the tidal wave, which is not so prominent. And the descending limb, uh, there is a prominent dichrotic notch in the, in the central uh, arterial pulse pattern, which is the in which called the incisura, and in the peripheral arterial pulse, it is called the dichrotic notch. And followed by the dichrotic notch, there is a dichrotic wave. This dichrotic wave uh, persists through the diastole, all diastole, and pulse wave is uh, going down. Next, come to the examination of the arterial pulse, which is the most important part of this session. All major arterial pulses should be bilaterally examined. Uh, that is the rate of the pulse. There is seven items. Rate of the pulse, rhythm, character, volume, condition of the arterial wall, and equal or unequal of the radial pulses. And last of all, presence or absence of the radiofemoral delay. These seven items should be examined in, uh, in the examination of the pulse. Uh, this is the examination of the radial pulse. Uh, radial pulse should be examined with the uh, fin, uh, holding the wrist of the patients by fingers, preferably the three fingers, that is index, middle, and ring finger, uh, and pressing over the head of the radius. The patient's arm should be slightly pronated and the wrist should be slightly flexed. This is the palpation of the brachial pulse. Brachial pulse should be examined. Right brachial pulse of the patient should be examined with the left thumb and vice versa. This is the location is in the anticubital fossa over the uh, anticubital fossa over the humerus, uh, pressing over the humerus. This is the palpation of the Carotid pulse. Carotid pulse should be examined one at a time, not simultaneously bilaterally. And it is it should be examined the lower part of the neck to avoid the pressing over the carotid sinus. This right carotid should be examined with the left thumb at the middle border of the sternocleidum asteroid, and this sternocleidum mastoid should be relaxed. Slightly, patient's neck uh, should be uh, should be rotated towards the examiner, so that standard problem study will be flexed. This is the femoral pulse examination. Femoral pulse location uh, in between the iliac crest and pubic ramus, uh, below the inguinal ligament. This will be palpated with finger, finger, three fingers or one finger, and also uh, the right femoral should be palpated with the left hand and vice versa. Popliteal pulse examination, two hands should be used, two hands should be used, the examiner finger thumb should be in front of the knee and knee will be flexed at about 120 degree uh, the fingers of the both hand placed over the popliteal fossa, uh, popliteal fossa, then the popliteal pulse will be uh, 
palpated with the with both fingers. This is the posterior tibial pulses. It is one inch behind the one centimeter behind the medial villainous of the tibia. And it should be examined from the foot end of the bed. Uh, right, public, uh, right posterior tibial with left hand, left posterior tibial with right hand. Arterial dorsalis pedis palpation. This artery located in between the tendons of the first and third toe and the second toe, and it is over the uh, tarsal bones. Uh, usually, two percent of the normal person, this art dorsalis pedis pulse and uh, posterior tibial pulse may not be palpable uh, for the anomalous uh, arterial tree. Now, after examination, we can tabulate the pulse as a pulse scale. Zero when complete absence of the pulse. One plus when small or feeble pulsation. Two plus palpable. Pulse is palpable, but it is diminished as compared to other side. As I told earlier, the both pulse will be pulse will be examined bilaterally. So if we examine bilaterally, then the difference of the volume can be identified. Two plus and three plus is the normal pulsation for both sides. Four plus is a large volume pulse or bounding pulsation. Now abnormality in rate of the pulse. Usually 60 to 100 feet per minute is the normal pulse rate in adult. And, but the average rate in children depends upon age as follows at the age of one week pulse rate normal pulse rate is 140 per minute and the one year 120 per minute six year 100 per minute and at the puberty it is 80 per minute so when it is uh, beyond 100 bit per minute we can say tachycardia and less than 60 bit per minute is bradycardia Tachycardia may be sinus tachycardia or tachyarrhythmia. Like bradycardia may be sinus bradycardia or bradyarrhythmia. Another uh, is pulse deficit. Uh, this is the difference between the radial pulse rate and the heart rate. So simultaneous auscultation of the heartbeat and pulse rate should be examined. The pulse deficit more than six minutes, six per minute, it is diagnostic of atrial fibrillation. But when it is less than six per minute, it can occur in PVCs, premature ventricular compressions. Now, differential diagnosis of irregular pulses. Irregular pulses may be regularly irregular or irregularly irregular. Regularly irregular pulse, that is sinus arrhythmia, PVC at regular intervals. And the partial heart block is in the second degree heart block. Sinus arrhythmia may be phasic and non phasic. When it is related to respiratory variation, it is called phasic. And not related to respiratory variation, it is non phasic. Uh, this sinus arrhythmia is common in childhood. And as the age increases, sinus arrhythmia is decreased. And in the autonomic nervous system uh, impaired the sinus arrhythmia also decreased. So absence of sinus arrhythmia is a uh, is a sign of uh, cardiovascular disease. Irregular irregular pulse that is three varieties atrial fibrillation, multifocal atrial tachycardia and frequent PVC which does not uh, uh, does not maintain any regularity that is like bigeminy or trigeminy. Pulses in abnormal character. Pulses tardus. Tardus means slow, slow rising pulse. It is with delayed systolic, uh, delayed systolic upstroke. It is better appreciated by simultaneous auscultation. And it is found in AS. That the water hammer pulse or collapsing pulse. There is a pit upstroke followed by a rapid descent. 
without diacritic marks. It is best appreciated at the radial pulse on the former side of the patient's wrist held in the examiner's hand and the arm suddenly elevated above the shoulder. I will show the picture next. Uh, this is the twice beating pulse, three varieties, anacrotic pulse, pulsus visperians, and dichrotic pulse. I discuss later on. Irregular, irregular pulse is the pulsus bigeminus and pulsus alternus, and pulsus paradoxus also is the variety of pulse character abnormality. This is the detection of the uh, water hemal pulse. The patient's wrist is held by the examiner's fingers, and the elbow is slightly flexed, wrist also slightly flexed, and then suddenly. Uh, upright the arm above the shoulder, then the pulse wave is in the line of the central aorta, and it is the detection of the uh, upstroke and downstroke will be felt easily. Twice beating pulse, twice beating pulse, three varieties: anacrotic pulse, visperian pulse, and diacrotic pulse. Anacrotic pulse, uh, here the anacrotic notch on the upstroke is uh, rising, upstroke rising pulse, palpated in carotid pulse, and two separate waves, that is anacrotic wave and percussion wave. Usually the anacrotic uh, notch is not uh, a distinct one, but in the anacrotic pulse it is a distinct variety. And so there is two wave, anacrotic wave and percussion wave. Uh, it is found in uh, AS. Visperian's pulse here also two wave, two systolic peaks. One is the percussion, another is the tidal, and separated by a distinct mid systolic dip. It occurs in condition like large stroke volume with rapidly ejected from the LV, as in severe AR, hyperkinetic circulatory states, and also in combined AS and AR. Diacrotic pulse is characterized by two peaks, one is systole and another is diastole. Systolic wave is percussion wave and diastolic wave is diacrotic wave or diastolic wave. It is commonly seen in low output stage. So these three varieties of the twice fitting pulse related to the uh, wave pattern. Uh, wave pattern of the, usually the anacrotic notes, tidal wave, uh, diacrotic wave, diacrotic notes, Usually, normally, these are not palpable. Uh, only percussion wave is palpable. But in these varieties, some distinct wave will be palpable, and so they are uh, they are told as twice distinct pulse. Anacrotic wave, the anacrotic wave, or anacrotic pulse, uh, that is anacrotic notch and anacrotic uh, percussion wave. These two varieties will be palpated distinctly. And Visperian's pulse, that is percussion wave and tidal wave. And diacrotic pulse, percussion in wave and diacrotic wave. These are the differences. Twice between pulse, there is also irregularly regular pulses, includes the pulses bigeminous and pulses alternates. Pulses bigeminous found in PVCs where a weak beat is followed by a compensatory pause and then a stronger than normal beat. Uh, normal weight is produced and it is due to prolonged diastolic feeling. It is found in PPC AB block and actual fatawe block also. Pulsus alternance is regular rhythm in which a strong beat with a weak beat it is a sign of severe LV dysfunction. Uh, it is found in myocarditis, severe AS with failure, acute pulmonary embolism, and severe PS. It is usually detected by spigol energy. Pulses on turnance uh, cannot be palpated, when, uh, but palpated when the uh, difference of the systolic pressure is more than 20. And usually when the the systolic pressure is more than 130, pulsar alternance is not possible to detect. Uh, difference between pulses bigeminous and pulsar alternance is pulsar bigeminous, the pulse wave will be regular, and in alternance, it is regular, so it is regularly regular. Uh, 
next important variety is pulsus paradoxus. Uh, it is sometimes we, uh, we face in the written examination as short notes also. And it is called a misnomer, but actually it is a, a, an abnormality of the pulse which is detected through blood pressure. Uh, not a blood pressure abnormality. In the book, it is also uh, written in the blood pressure abnormality and also in the pulse abnormality. But I think it is the abnormality of the pulse and it should be detected with the blood pressure measurement. Now come to definition. It is defined as an exaggerated decrease in the uh, amplitude of the arterial pulse during normal quiet inspiration which is exaggerated decline of the inspiratory arterials, systolic pressure, and it is, uh, it is the apparent paradox of the disappearance of the pulse during inspiration, despite the presence of heartbeat. Heartbeat is present, pulse is also present, but pulse cannot be palpated during inspiration. At the inspiration, the intrapericardial pressure declines. The mechanism uh, to say the mechanism, there is two points is important. Number one, the during inspiration, normally a fall in interpericardial pressure, which causes increase the right ventricular diastolic pressure, as well as the venous return, with slight changes of the volume of the ventricular size. In pulsus paradoxus, this decrease is exaggerated. Uh, usually it is less than 10. When, when it is more than 10 minutes of mercury, then it is pulsus paradoxus. Inspiration causes a decline in the elevated intrapericardial pressure, right ventricular uh, volume that results in the increase of the right ventricular transmural diastolic pressure, which increases the venous return and the filling of the right heart. As a result, the LV dimension and compliance decrease. As the interventricular septum is bulged toward the uh, left ventricle and it impedes the MP, uh, LV filling, decreases the output and decreases the systolic arterial pressure. It is uh, one thing. Another is, uh, another is uh, as the inspiration, the pulmonary bed is full with blood and the cooling of the blood from the pulmonary blood, bed, the LA filling and LB filling also decreased. So from the both sides, as the LB compliance and LB volume decreases and the inflow filling from the LA uh, from the blood, uh, pulmonary bed also decreased. So both, for both uh, uh, factors, uh, both factors results the decreased volume of the uh, LB and decrease LB uh, stroke volume, it is LB in blood pressure. This is the cause of low blood pressure or inaudible pulse. Uh, etiology, the most common etiology cardiac component. Uh, if you see constitutive pericarditis, massive pulmonary embolism, severe obstructive lung disease, and restricted cardiomyopathy. There is some exceptions. Uh, cardiac component, uh, uh, when cardiac component is present, but the pulsus paradoxus is absent in such conditions like um, intracardiac shunt, when intracardiac shunt is present, that is ASD, PST, uh, or the uh, adhesive pericarditis is present, then the, the in cardiac, though the cardiac component is present, but uh, the, the pulsus paradoxus cannot be detected. Clinically, to detect the pulses paradoxus, we can use the blood pressure measurement. When it's better decline of systolic arterial pressure more than 20 millimeter mercury, pulses paradoxus is easily detected by palpation of the brachial artery. As an inspiratory decline in the amplitude of the pulse, milder disease can be readily detected by sphygmomanometer. Systolic arterial pressure difference. So the 20 minutes of basic hoy, tahole amra pulse er madhyamei sheta detect korte pari. Otherwise, 
now come to the abnormality in pulse volume pulse volume depends on stroke volume and the compliance of the artery it may be normal low or high and according to pulse volume there are three terms pulses parvas parvas small volume pulse small volume low amplitude and it is found in congestive heart failure uh it is found in s also pulses magnus large volume high amplitude pulse giving the rapid stroke volume large stroke volume characteristically found in ar and in hyperkinetic conditions we found the bounding pulse or hyperkinetic pulse uh, here also the stroke volume is very large and with rapid ejection lv ejects the blood rapidly it occurs in hyperkinetic circulatory states like fever, anemia, thyrotoxicosis, very, very tender disease, etc. The next part of the examination is the condition of the vessel wall. It is examined by threatening the artery with two digital, two digital pressure, by digital pressure. The artery should be palpated on the disease and right away. Atherosclerotic vessel is thick and rigid and tube-like, and and uh, a condition which is called Monkeberg's degeneration, where the medial calcification is occurred and the pal, uh, artery is hard and calcified, more calcified than the atherosclerotic one. Radial pulse synchrosynicity it is an important part of the examination. Radial pulse on one side may be diminished or absent, and the well-known the diseases Takayasu arteritis and thoracic outlet syndrome, commonly the cervical grip, if one cervical grip is present, a condition subclavian still syndrome, one with atherosclerosis, uh, acute microemboli to the arm, partition of the aorta when it is the proximal involvement, and dissection of aorta. Now, radiofemoral delay in pulsation. Uh, pulse reaches brachial artery at 60 milliseconds, radial artery 80 millisecond, and the femoral artery uh, 75 milliseconds. This variation is normally not noticeable. Usually, this variation is not noticeable. Uh, noticeable delay in the arrival of femoral pulse is suggested, uh, suggestive of warfarin of aorta, occlusive disease of the bifurcation of Aorta or external iliac artery. Yeah. Uh, this is the simultaneous palpation of the radial artery and femoral artery to detect the any radio femoral delay. The from the right side, right hand palpate the radial pulse and the left hand the femoral location. To summarize these abnormalities of the pulse. We can uh, uh, we can examine the, in the upper part of the radial, brachial, and carotid, and the lower part, femoral, popliteal, posterior tibia, and the surface These are the peripheral pulse. And rate abnormality in one hand, the sinus tachycardia, sinus tachycardia, tachyarrhythmia, pulse deficit, uh, which I found in the atrial fibrillation and PBCs, and sinus bradycardia with uh, body arrhythmia. Is found in every block. These are the rate abnormality and rhythm abnormality in one wing, the regular, irregularly regular, that is sinus arrhythmia, PVC, uh, heart block, partial heart block, and irregularly irregular pulse. There is three differential diagnoses one is actual fibrillation, multivocal actual tachycardia, and rhythm PVCs. 
And uh, in the character abnormality, there are so many varieties of the pulse abnormality. The pulse is tardus in S, collapsing pulse in air, anacrotic pulse, it is also found in S, experience pulse, it is found in S, PDN, and in the both S, when S and AR is both present, then experience pulse also found. Necrotic pulse is found in the cardiomyopathy and myocarditis, it is the lower foot functions. The pulse is trigeminous, found in the PVCs, also alternates are found in the uh, low output states like uh, uh, related cardiomyopathy, CGRS with heart failure, and pulmonary embolism. Pulsus paradoxus found in the uh, cardiac component, most important for this cardiac component. And uh, reverse pulsus paradoxus is also found. It is, in the, uh, uh, it is found in the patients when patient is under ventilation. So there is then in inspiration there is increased pressure and expiration there is decreased pressure. So the condition is reversed. Mm -hmm. The volume abnormality, uh, pulsus parvus, pulsus, pulsus magnus, as I told earlier, and another is burning pulse, three variety. Vessel wall should be examined and uh, radial pulse, radial radial differences and radial femoral delay should be examined meticulously. Thank you. Collapsing pulse mechanism only Janta Chan. Punta mechanism? Collapsing pulse. What are the pulse? Collapsing pulse. Collapsing pulse. Uh, collapsing pulse. It is the uh, found in uh, it's a high uh, high stroke volume. When the stroke volume is very high, large stroke volume. Uh, it is due to the rapid upstroke and rapid descent. Rapid upstroke is due to the uh, uh, rapid ejection of the large stroke volume and the uh, descent, rapid descent is due to three factors. Uh, one is the diastolic runoff that is, you know, in the air, some blood from the aorta return back to the LV. That is diastolic runoff of the blood and another uh, another cause is the uh, the peripheral runoff, peripheral diastolic runoff also present. Uh, number third, uh, the, the, there is a when the large volume of blood uh, goes through the carotid, the carotid sinus will be activated, and this carotid sinus mediated uh, sinus mediated uh, uh, decrease in the arterial uh, arterial resistance. These three factors uh, causes the rapid downwards, the rapid, uh, rapid, rapid deflection of the collapsing pulse. Rapid rise due to large volume and rapid decrease due to the downward rapid descent due to peripheral causes, three causes. छविगुल দেখতে পাইছি যে স্যার যেমন আগে তো আমরা তিন আঙ্গুল দিয়ে এই পাঁচটা দেখতাম কিন্তু স্যার ওই যে ম্যাকলয়েড বলতেছে দুই আঙ্গুল নতুন ম্যাকলয়েড এর দুই আঙ্গুল হ্যাঁ কিন্তু ট্র্যাডিশনালি ট্র্যাডিশনালি থ্রি ফিঙ্গারস ইজ ইউজড নতুন ম্যাকলয়েড এর দুই আঙ্গুল আছে আর কিন্তু ওই যে রাও বা অন্যান্য ক্লিনিক্যাল বইগুলোতে এখন পর্যন্ত ওই থ্রি ফিঙ্গারস ইউজ 
এটা ওই এক্সামিনারদের এই অনুসারে ইউজ করতে হবে আর কি পুরাতন এক্সামিনার হলে কিন্তু থ্রি ফিঙ্গারস ইউজ করতে হবে আর একটা কথা ছিল স্যার ডান হাতে যে স্যার যে হাতে ফাস্টটা দেখব ওই হাত দিয়ে ইউজ করব তো আপনি স্যার ওই যে নিচ থেকে একটু দেখাইছিলেন স্যার আবার ওরা স্যার উপর থেকে দেখা ফুট এন্ড থেকে হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ আপনি ফুট এন্ড থেকে দেখাইছিলেন তো স্যার আমরা আসলে কোনটা করব এখানে যেটা দেখাইছে সেটা হচ্ছে খেয়াল করলে দেখবা যে শুধুমাত্র রেডিয়াল পালসটাই পেশেন্টের রাইট হ্যান্ড এবং এক্সামিনারের রাইট হ্যান্ড জি স্যার अदरवाइज বাকি সবগুলাই কিন্তু রিভার্স پیشنটস রাইট সাইড ইজ এক্সামিন এক্সামিনার শুড ইউজ দা леফট леফট সাইড হ্যাঁ আইদার আইদার ফিঙ্গারস অর থাম হ্যাঁ এন্ড ফ্রম দা ফুট এন্ড দা বাইলেটারিলি টু সাইড টু পোস্টেরিয়র টিবিয়াল অর টু ডরসাল স্পেটিস ক্যান বি পালপেটেড হ্যাঁ এন্ড হিয়ার অলসো দা ইউ হ্যান্ডস আর ইউজড কিন্তু ভাইস ভার্সা রাইট ফর леফট এন্ড леফট ফর রাইট তাহলে স্যার আমরা কি ওই স্যার ওই রাউটটাই ইয়ে করব বা আপনি যেটা দেখাইছিলেন নাকি ম্যাকলয়েডটা ফলো করা উচিত স্যার কোনটা ফলো আমরা কি স্যার যেটা দেখাইছেন রাউ থেকে ওইটা ফলো করব নাকি ম্যাকলয়েডের যেটা আছে ওইটা ফলো করা উচিত এটা এটা আসলে এক্সামিনারস ভেরিয়েশন ম্যাকলয়েড হচ্ছে একটা বেসিক বুক এটা আমরা থার্ড ইয়ার থেকেই পড়ি থার্ড ইয়ার থেকেই আমরা এটা ইয়ে করি হ্যাঁ এবং ম্যাকলয়েডের অ্যাডিশন গুলো চেঞ্জ হয় সেই হিসাবে চেঞ্জিং প্যাটার্নের সাথে আমরা পরিচিত হইতে পারি তবে আমার মনে হচ্ছে যে ম্যাকলয়েড নট সো ইলাবোরেট ইলাবোরেট ডিসকাশন গুলো কিন্তু ওই রাউতেই আছে আর এখানে কিন্তু প্রসিজিওর গুলো খুব ভালোই আছে তো আমার মনে হয় ম্যাকলয়েড ইজ সাফিসিয়েন্ট ফর দ্য আন্ডার গ্রাজুয়েট স্টুডেন্ট হ্যাঁ ইন পোস্ট গ্রাজুয়েট উই অলসো হেল্প ফ্রম রাউ এন্ড আদার বুকস छविना Pulse is the basic cardiology, uh, both of the basic even then also the in practicing life bread and butter, parts of bread and butter of the practice also. Arakta Jinesh, sir, I am not false to the question. In the exam hall, I will try to see the pipin second gun. I will try to see the pipin second gun, sir, pipin second. I will try to see the pipin second. Sir, ideally, I will try to see the pipin second. Sir, ideally, I will try to see the pipin second. Sir, ideally, I will try to see the pipin second. Sir, ideally, I will try to see the pipin second. पालपेशन তো আমরা রেগুলার তাহলে 15 সেকেন্ড কাউন্ট করে তারপরে আমরা চার্জ দিব দিব হ্যাঁ এখানে পালসাস ডেফিসিটটা কিভাবে ডিটেক্ট করব কে একজন বলল স্যার যদি পালস এর সাথে কনসালটেন্ট করব পালস ডেফিসিট যেটা বলছিলাম যে कमाल 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 
স্যার হচ্ছে আর্টারিয়াল পালস যেটা আছে আমরা ওইটা আমরা কাউন্ট করব হাতে ফিলিং করে ফিল করে এটা কত আছে আর যদি অসকালটেট করে আমরা কার্ডিয়াক হার্ট রেটটা নির্ণয় করব হুম দুটোর মধ্যে যে পার্থক্য হচ্ছে এটা হচ্ছে পালসাস ডেফিসিট একসাথে কেমনে করব একটা অসকালটেট স্যার দুইজন দুইজন করবে স্যার দুইজন না থাকে হ্যাঁ ওই এটা হচ্ছে যে এক মিনিটের এক মিনিটের বোথ অসকালটেশন এন্ড পালপেশন কিন্তু পারসন হবে দুইজন মানে একজনে দুইবারে করলে হবে না দুইজনে করতে হবে এক এ টাইমে স্টার্ট স্টপ জি স্যার কিন্তু পরীক্ষার সময় তো স্যার আমি এটাই পরীক্ষার সময় তো বলেই তো হবে আমার আর কোন লাগবে এই ডিসকাশন থেকে আমরা এস এ কি কি পালস ভ্যারাইটি পাবো এস এ नाम कम्पोनेंटल शर्ट नोटे क्लिनिकाली अनेक समय কার্ডিয়াক টেম্পোনেট যেগুলো আমরা অনেক সময় ইকোটিকো করেও পাই সেগুলোতে অনেক সময় ডিটেক্ট করা লাগে দেখতে হয় ইকোকার্ডিওগ্রাফি কোনো সুযোগ নাই پیشنট খুবই খারাপ হ্যাঁ বেডে আছে আমরা ওই পালসাস প্যারাডক্সাস দিয়ে তার টেম্পোনেটের ফিচার আছে কিনা কিছু কাজ করতে পারি বেড সাইড ইকো সব সময় তো সম্ভব না 